Hello, my name is Lauren. I'm a plastic surgery registrar working in Yorkshire and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove a mattress suture correctly. Here we have two mattress sutures, one vertical and one horizontal. When removing mattress sutures, it doesn't matter whether you are dealing with a vertical or horizontal suture. The important thing to remember is that this part of the suture that has been sitting on top of the patient's skin for a couple of weeks is colonised and should not be dragged back through the wound that is clean. To remove the suture, begin by identifying this part. If there is a lot of crusting, clean the area with some saline to expose the suture and make it easier to lift. Place your forceps underneath the suture as I show here. This is often easier with a pair of toothed forceps. You then want to divide each end of that part of the suture flush with the skin and holding the knot, pull this back across the wound so that you are not applying force that opens the wound up. Similarly, on the horizontal suture, place your forceps underneath, cut the suture flush with the skin and remove that across the wound as shown here. By removing the suture as shown, you reduce the risk of both contaminating the wound and of opening the wound up or causing it to dehiss. Remember that once you have removed the suture, the wound is relatively weak. You can help support the wound to reduce the risk of gaping, opening or dehiscence by using steri strips. To apply steri strips, you lay them perpendicular to the wound edges as shown here.